Apple M1 Pro vs. M3 Pro, what's this about? You'd think that Apple's new M3 CPUs would beat the company's own M1 processors in terms of performance by a long shot. Apple proudly claimed this at the recent presentation of their new chips. However, it's not all about the latest CPU generation. With the M3 models, the chip's architecture has also changed. Apple's ARM CPUs consist partly of energy-saving E-cores and partly of high-performance P-cores. This way, the system distributes its workload depending on the task. This means that the new Macs with Apple Silicon chips can work much more energy-efficiently than previous systems. With the M2 and then the M3, Apple has changed the CPU's architecture, i.e. how the cores work and how the load is distributed. An Apple M1 Pro had a total of 10 CPU cores, 8 of which were P cores and 2 E cores. In contrast, an M2 Pro also had 10 CPU cores, but in this case there were 6 P cores and 4 E cores. And the new M3 Pro houses 11 cores, 5 P cores and 6 E cores. Apple M1 Pro has better DAW performance, not everywhere. YouTuber James Zahn has now carried out an extensive test that verifies an assumption that has been growing for months in various forums. In his test, he created the same setup in the DAW's Reaper, Cubass, Ableton, Studio One, Logic Pro, Florida Studio, and Pro Tools. Zahn monitored the CPU load per core via the Max internal Activity Monitor app. Lo and behold, there were indeed some DAWs that hardly put any load on the E cores. This meant that in some cases his Apple M1 Pro system was able to load more tracks than the newer supposedly more powerful M3 Pro. The results of the DAW benchmark on the one hand there were DAWs, such as Reaper or Cubass, which fully used all CPU cores. There Therefore, these DAWs could load more tracks on the new M3 Pro, as this CPU has more cores in total. But the real kicker comes with DAWs like Ableton Live, Avid Pro Tools, Presonus Studio One, and even Apple's own DAW Logic Pro. In all four DAWs, the M3 Pro was slightly weaker than a system with a second-generation Apple Silicon M2 Pro, but clearly inferior to the Apple M1 Pro.